Why didn't you tell me? You created Project Corvus, wrote the report. You pulled me along like you came about. Told you the impact would not have been the same. You know that. That you could not recall is no fault of mine. After the Black Station, we had to find you. Find out what you knew. I was in Cairo at the time. Your friend, Khalil. He brought you to Ramsey Station. Humanity's last holdout in Egypt. We knew who Deimos was. Where he was from. But we didn't know why. He'd taken over the world, but to do what? To find out why, we had to talk to you. Pieces were coming together. Virus 6115, Taylor's team, the undead, it all came back to Deimos. All we needed was you. Hendrix was unhinged. The idea his friends betrayed mankind to help a demigod. The concept alone was insane, let alone his friend's involvement. Kane was in it to the end. By now, she was as obsessed with stopping Deimos as we were. We weren't ready for Cairo. No matter what we thought. This place. If there was ever a place that was hell on Earth, this was it. It wasn't just the city. The entirety of Northern Africa had fallen to the undead. The walls were covered with memories of the dead, those taken by 6115. Lost to this wasteland, the desert for the undead. It was the last place on Earth you'd want to be. But you chose to hide there. Why? For that very reason. I hoped no one would come for me. Why? What were you running from? From what you sought. Deimos. Khalil was waiting. He was holding you in an interrogation room. How was Khalil? Happy to see you. It wasn't a warm welcome. As far as he was concerned, we owed him one for grabbing you. More than a few men gave their lives to bring you in. He hoped it was worth it. He was angry? He was tired. Tired of fighting a losing battle. Khalil was a realist. He'd fight to the death for country. But he knew what was coming. And what was coming? Extinction. The undead changed everything. The NRC were hit first and hardest. We saw that in Ethiopia. The damage done by the dead didn't even take into account what the water wars did. When the continent dried up and the Nile River Coalition took war to Egypt over the Nile, the last water supply. They were so busy fighting they didn't realize it too had dried up. But the rise of the undead? How do you fight an enemy that doesn't need water? Khalil's rage wasn't misplaced. It wasn't personal. He was just barely holding on. What did you hope to learn from speaking to me? How to stop Deimos. Everyone has a weakness. The whole base was on edge. You could feel it in the air. The dead were moving on Ramses. An assault was imminent. Khalil didn't know how much time we had with you. Hendrix demanded to know why we weren't informed. How did Khalil respond to his anger? WA command was down. How was he meant to get his message through? Besides, they still had their dead system. They used to knock enemy aircraft out of the sky, but now they were used to eviscerate the undead. If any came too close, the laser cannons would take them out. Khalil led us to interrogation. He warned us our time was limited. No telling when the dead might attack. But if we could get answers out of you, maybe we could find a way to fight back. You certainly weren't too happy to see us. You say it like I had the choice in the matter. With no time, we needed you to be willing to talk. The truth serum would make you relax, more willing to divulge. 
Hendricks told us to take a walk. He asked about Taylor and Deimos. He wanted you to connect the dots. And I told him Deimos controlled them. Your friend Bishop was correct. There was a brain manipulating the undead. It was Deimos. Deimos realized he could access a person's DNI. He could possess them, inhabit them, consume them. He didn't need to turn them. Like puppets on strings. The undead are mindless creatures, but Taylor's team, Gojulon, anyone with DNI, they could be hosts. They were slaves to do his bidding. Hendrix wanted to know why we both did. For many years, I had studied Deimos and his Dimension Malum, a place of unspeakable evil. He had been pulled to Earth, yanked from his existence by accident. Trapped here, he saw opportunity to enslave humanity and use them to wage an unholy war against Dolos. The demigoddess. His sister. That was it? We were... We were just a chess piece? Our entire existence was just... A pawn in a much larger game in a universe far bigger than you realize. Humanity is an anthill. Deimos and Dolos are two children fighting over the magnifying glass. But Hendrix was desperate. He wanted to know how to kill Deimos. You... You told him he couldn't. How does one kill a god? You can't. The only way to defeat him, the only way to sever his control over the undead, for Bishop Surum to work and save humanity was to send him back to Malum. And to do that, we needed to open the gateway. As we are doing now by walking through your memories. The assault on Ramses was beginning. The base was about to be overrun. We owed you the occupation. Time to take the fight to the death. We weren't ready for the station assault. I don't know how the dead got in. Maybe an abandoned tunnel, an infected civilian, or maybe the vultures let them through. But at the end of the day, it didn't matter. Egyptian army came over comms. They'd never seen a horde this size move on the station. If we had any chance to stop them, we needed to reinforce the eastern checkpoint, a narrow passageway the dead would need to traverse to reach Ramses. Hmm. 
Cairo. She was a city on fire. Except for the Egyptian army and a smattering of civilians hidden away. She'd fallen to the dead. Khalil didn't say it, but I could hear it in his voice. He knew this was the last stand. If they lost this battle, they'd lose the city. What was Khalil's plan? The undead were moving on the eastern checkpoint. A clear shot at Ramsey Station. The Egyptian army had rigged explosives below the street, but there were a few support columns we would need to take out first. We had the spike launcher for that. You talked of his desperation, his total acknowledgement of futility. Yet here he was, staying, staying and fighting. What else was he going to do? If it wasn't today, it was tomorrow. Or the day after that. We lost the war. The moment Diaz opened the quarantine zones. The moment Deimos entered our dimension. One way or another, death was coming for us all. But while we still could, we would fight. And right now, we had a checkpoint to defend. It was a simple, straightforward plan. Except... Our VTOL was shot out of the sky. The mobile blockade fell early. It wasn't just the undead gunning for us. Cairo was a no-man's land, filled with the undead, rogue robotics, and scavengers. They were all converging on our position. If we were gonna pull this off, we didn't have time to fuck around. I grabbed the spike launcher and told Kane at HQ to locate the support columns for us to blow. Detonated the last support column. We had to get back behind the wall so we could blow the street. Our trigger man got hit. I had to get up there and bet. I told Hendricks I needed a moment.
Good thing Hendrix still had our back. Khalil thanked us. He thought they still had a chance. They had no idea what was about to happen. Egyptian Army Command came over comms. A scavenger had blown a hole through Sophia Square, and the undead were pouring through, headed for Ramses. I told Khalil we'd take care of the square. I gave Hendrix a hand opening the VTOL hatch. I heard screams. There was someone still alive. You went in to save this man? The odds of his survival could not have been great. You yourself said no one was getting out alive. Does that matter? I guess it was Khalil who changed my mind. There were so few of us left. If there was a chance, any chance, I'd take it. Even with all odds stacked against you, you tried to help this man. He clung to life without hope, and still you tried to save him. Turns out it didn't matter. He didn't survive. It would only be a matter of time before he turned and joined the Horde. No time to stop and mourn. If I did that, I'd end up joining him. And you weren't going down just yet. Sephia Square was a total snafu. Undead, rogue robotics, everything in the kitchen sink wanted a piece of us.
didn't take long for the vultures to drop a second ASP in the air. It was only a matter of time before a malfunctioning ASP arrived, ready to take out everyone and everything. We cleared the plaza, but something was wrong. I could hear it. What did you hear? Nothing. And that was the problem. It took us a moment to realize what had happened. Something had taken up the dead system. One of the scavengers, maybe a malfunctioning biped. We saw reinforcements fly in, but it was too late. Khalil tried to reach Egyptian command. All we heard were screams. Ramsey's station had fallen to the dead. We got out of the open. Khalil, he, he'd reached a breaking point. No mistaking that look. That look of defeat, anger, frustration, hopelessness. You try to sympathize, you try to comfort. Doesn't matter. Then Kane came over comms. She'd picked up the location of Sarah Hall, another of Taylor's team. Her signal popped back up on the grid. We had traced her to Kebeshet the sandy ruins of Cairo's Garden City. I told Khalil if there was a sliver of hope, we needed to catch Hall and find Taylor. If we did, and found a way to send Deimos back to Malum, we could undo all of this. And Hendrix? His mind was melting. I still didn't know what was sparking his behavior. He didn't want to go after Hall. I said he didn't have a say in the matter. He didn't like that. He attacked you. I told you. 
It wasn't him. It was that look in his eyes. Like Gojulan. Like Moretti. Like Diaz. He wasn't buying this interdimensional bullshit. And why should he? What did he say to you? Salim lies. He didn't think opening the portal would save us. It would destroy us. The last time it opened, evil came through. Why would this time be different? He said Deimos was trying to trick us. He said you were lying to us. Are you? <laughs>